So the question is asking, what speed must a particle attain before its kinetic energy is double the value predicted by the non-relativistic expression, Ke is equal to 1 half mv squared? This formula right here is the classical kinetic energy formula. So let's go ahead and write the expression or the relationship that this question is trying to state. And that is the relativistic kinetic energy is equal to two times the classical kinetic energy. So if we go ahead and expand that out, we get that the relativistic kinetic energy is mc squared divided by the square root of 1 minus v over c squared minus mc squared. And we set that all equal to 1 half mv squared. And don't forget that we have to multiply this entire expression by 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify. Um, we'll multiply this 2 out. We'll go ahead and cancel the masses on both sides of the equation. We'll go ahead and pull out or we'll factor out this c squared so that we're left with the speed of light squared times 1 over the square root of 1 minus v over c squared minus 1 and we set that equal to v squared. Next what we'll do is we'll go ahead and divide the speed of light squared to both sides of the equation so that we can simplify it down to this form right here. Next we're going to make a little substitution. This v over c squared we're just going to call that u. So u represents v divided by c raised to the second power. And if we go ahead and make our u substitution, we get that 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus u minus 1 is equal to u. So this is where the question kind of deviates from the physics and focuses more on the algebra. So what we have to do is we have to do some algebra and solve for the u and try to find the roots in this little e equation right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move 1 to the other side of this equation. Next I'm going to square both sides of the equation so that I get this form right here. Afterwards I expanded this binomial right here so that I get 1 divided by 1 minus u is equal to u squared plus 2u plus 1. Afterwards I'll go ahead and cross multiply so now I have this quadratic and I multiply it by this binomial right here and I'll have to expand that out so that I get 1 is equal to u squared minus u cubed plus 2u minus 2u squared plus 1 minus u. If I go ahead and simplify this all down, I'll get minus u cubed minus u squared plus u is equal to zero. What I'll have to do next is pull out or factor out a negative u so that I get negative u times u squared plus u minus one, and we set that all equal to zero. Now finally, we have to use the quadratic formula in order to find the roots for this quadratic term right here. And based off this u right here, we know that u is also equal to zero. But if we use our quadratic formula, we also get two more roots for our u variable right here. So we're left with three answers. We have 0.61803, we have zero, and lastly, we have negative 1.618. Now, the only one that we're interested in will be this positive value. Because if we have zero as our answer, we simply, if the velocity is zero, it doesn't really tell us much of what the energy would be, you know. So if our velocity is zero, that doesn't really tell us anything on this, in, in all this calculations right here. Now, if we had a negative number, we can't have a, a negative expression because recall that u, we said that u is equal to v over c raised to the second power. We can't have that ratio be a negative number. It just messes everything up. I, you'd, you'd have to go into s the imaginary system and that gets very messy. But anyway, this is going to be the value of choice. This is what we want. So once again, we know that u is equal to 0.61803. So we need to expand that out. We can go ahead and plug in what u was originally made out to be. And we know that it was v divided by c raised to the second power. What we'll do next is we'll take the square root of both sides. And once we take the square root and we cross multiply, we'll get that the velocity or the speed is equal to 0.786 times the speed of light. 